Hello bookworms, welcome back to another read aloud and as you know we always have interesting stories to tell you every week and we also have a theme to go with it. Our theme for this month is still on nature. We're learning about our environment, animals, plants, water and all the likes. The title of our story today is Inku Chomps, Gobbles and Slurps by Raj Sundarkrishnan and illustrated by Febin Raj. As you can see in this first page, we have what looks like a bird. Hmm, what type of bird? Let's see what the story is about. Inko peeps out of a narrow slit in the tree trunk. She is a great hornbill, born just a week ago. Swoosh, swoosh, pa lands softly on their tree. Are these for me to play with? Asks Inko. No, these are figs. Eat them up, says Pa. Gum, 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 num, num. So plump and juicy, with crunchy whops inside, says Inko. Pa has grown a tail on his bill, says Inko. Wah! Don't cry, dear Inko, says Ma. It's just a lizard. Chomp, chomp. Oh! It's scaly. My food has wings, laughs Inku. Bats are my favorite, says Ma. Gobble, gobble. So chewy. I love its squishy insides. Ah! Inku opens her bill wide. Seeing a big furry creature. Here comes a squirrel, laughs Pa. Shoop, shoop. The squirrel slides in. It tickles. This looks a little like us, whispers Inku. Yes, it's a small bird. A booboo, says Pa. Gulp, gulp. Ah, all gone. Burr. So many hands and legs, yells Inku. It's a scorpion. Beat it against the tree to make it soft, says Ma. Dish, dash, bam. Wow, ouch, still so sharp. Are these long lizards? asks Inku. No, these are snakes. Slurp them up, says Ma, grinning. The snakes disappear one by one. What fun! I think snakes are my favorite. Inku soon grows big and strong and leaves the nest. Hop, hop, hop from one branch to the next. She is so excited to explore the forest and catch her own food. Shiny berries, slippery frogs, jumping grasshoppers. What will Inku find today? Meet the great hornbill. The great hornbill is India's largest hornbill. Adult great hornbills are three to four feet tall, almost as tall as you are. Inko's parents found a large hollow in a big study tree. Ma entered it and shed some feathers because she would not be leaving the nest for almost three months. Ma and Pa then sealed the entrance leaving only a small slit open. 
This is where Inko hatched from an egg. She lived in, the, in this nest for 10 to 12 weeks until she was old enough to come out. Power hornbills are very busy during nesting because ma hornbills cannot leave the nest. Power hornbills fly far and wide to bring a variety of tasty and nutritious food for the chick and the mother because they are very hungry all the time. Now I understand why Inko was always hungry. And that is the end. Thank you bookworms for listening to this interesting story. I hope you learned about the great hornbill. I'll see you in the next story. Have a lovely day. Bye.